iPhone 9 will likely have a 4.7 inch display betting on users love for compact gadgets. I love how thin it is. Then make it thicker. I love how responsive the touch screen is. Then cover the screen with plastic. I love how carefully it was designed. Then hide that design under a big yellow minions case. Welcome back to Need to Know. As exciting as CES was, we couldn't be more psyched about the coming phone storm. Look out for the next four phones in particular. They're gonna be very tempting to have and the hardest to beat by iPhone 9. Apple might fill in that series gap after all. A new flagship so soon? No way, that's September's show. The iPhone 9 is gonna be the mid-ranger many have expected for four years now, the sequel to iPhone SE. Just like its predecessor, it's gonna be a nice in-between with iPhone 11's essential specs, but without the facelift. We're expecting the looks of the iPhone 8 with hopefully a frosted glass back, an A13 processor and 3 gigs of RAM. The camera will unfortunately be a single module, but with Apple software, your photos should turn out better than you'd expect from a $400, $450 phone. Size is key. After all, iPhone SE owned much of its success to it. So iPhone 9 will likely have a 4.7 inch display betting on users love for compact gadgets. Since it's gonna be a twin of the iPhone 8, Face ID will be off the table. Don't know about you, but going back to touch is gonna be brutal. Face recognition has shown that it can be reliable and fast, so Touch ID will feel like a step back. Unless you're juggling an older iPad, iPhone and Mac and then you're resigned to switching from one to the other. Wireless charging should be in the books though. But maybe more importantly, you'll still get a device that can access Apple Arcade and all their latest services. With the latest processor, you're not gonna feel behind all your other Apple buddies. You're still gonna move blazing fast in games and probably frustrate everyone with your more than decent photos. Again, with an iPhone that's less than half the price of their latest flagship. The only trouble is, it's gonna drop in March, weeks away from MWC where not just flagships but four sexy iPhone 9 rivals will show up. It's unlike Apple to back off from a challenge, so they're gonna have to breathe in, squeeze their eyes tight and hope that those second quarter results are worth bringing out the bubbly. So where's the threat coming from? Sony, Oppo, Xiaomi and Motorola. Sony is the obvious Android rival. They've been doing the mid-range tango for quite a while now, so 2020 is not gonna be that different. Their Xperia 6 is gonna hit the $600 mark, true, but man, it will offer plenty of flagship specs to compensate. We loving specs so much! <laughs> a Snapdragon 765 to start. This 8-core chip is gonna run like a beast and it might even bring 5G along. That's extremely impressive for a $600 phone. No, not shocked at all? Not even if Sony throws in 8 gigs of RAM, a triple camera and fast charging? Uh-huh, I knew you'd turn the volume up by now. Yes, that's exactly what Xperia 6 is expected to look like in less than a month from now. But it gets better. What do you think of a $400 Oppo phone with not just the latest chip from Qualcomm, but 8 gigs of RAM and 120Hz refresh rate? Really, no joke. That's what the 2020 Find X should bring. A 6.5 inch OLED screen with a refresh rate fit for gamers, flagship memory and even an under display camera. Wild, right? They'll also keep the 50 watts fast charging. The whole package is so ridiculously powerful for the price, iPhone 9 doesn't seem to stand a chance. But wait, we're not done. Or rather, China is not done. China? I have to have my China. China? China because China? China? China. Xiaomi, a company that's been putting out phones left and right, Oprah style, will be back with Mi 10 Pro. Now, this baby is gonna be the stuff of dreams at launch. Why? Well, it's gonna come with a 180 megapixel quad camera. Totally not impressive, I know. Of course, it's gonna run on the latest chip from Qualcomm and have 8 gigs of RAM like a flagship phone. The 90Hz refresh rate screen and 4500mAh battery are no-brainers either. So how much will the Mi 10 Pro cost? Are you ready? Make sure you're sitting down. About $500 max. And if these three phones don't seem as much of a threat, there's always the $300 Motorola G 
with a stylus. Rumored this month, it's said to be Motorola's idea of a Note phone with the One Action jeans. This could mean a triple camera and 4 gigs of RAM. Not as impressive as the Mi 10 Pro, obviously, but the only decent Android that's gonna be cheaper than even the iPhone 9. How is the iPhone 9 gonna survive in the face of these? Normally, it shouldn't. Not if we choose phones based on performance and looks alone. But we don't buy things because they're reasonable. We buy with the heart, too. Is it valuable? $500,000. I like it because it's shiny. And truth is, iPhone 9's saving grace will be the loyal Apple fanbase. No matter how better and cheaper Android phones are and will be, some of us will never give iOS up. What do you think? Could you say goodbye to iOS for one of these Android phones? Or would you consider going to iOS for the iPhone 9? Tell us in the comments and don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. See you guys!